Hello my lovely friends, Sigita here again and is not in a as better for you to see. Um, uh, I'm here again uh, with junk journal today. Uh, junk journal is going to be for a sale, so that's guys a uh, journal for you to base to buy uh, straight away. Journal is not embellished, is almost I would say almost blank journal. Size is small one, is six uh, is four by six inches. And journal has 92 pages, but there is no full pages. There is halves and full pages and uh, torn pages. So I counted all of them and it's uh, 92 or uh, 184 writing sides. Sounds a lot. <laughs> right. A spine is a one and a half inch spine, so it's quite a chunky journal. Uh, this time for a cover, I choose fabric. That uh, fabric underneath and on the back here is fabric, is cotton fabric. I uh, inside is a chipboard or cardboard or grey board. <laughs> Um, so I just um, put um, cotton fabric around the cardboard, embellished with uh, a lot of layering, cheesecloth and uh, book pages, a little piece from my design paper, um, uh, whatever design paper is this from, a little old lace, die cut negative as a centerpiece and similar is on the back. A cheese cloth, a book page, and die cut negative here. Closure I sewed on. I sewed on um, coffee stained um, cotton fabric. Is sewed on like that. And spine of this black is felt. I put a coffee stained uh, cheese cloth over a black felt, and that's on a spine. Binding again is that very funny one with gluing uh, signatures together with 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 uh, fabric strips. I think these fabric strips or strips or whatever you want to join, I think that gives a very junky uh, look and feel. And I really love it. It's not easy to make. It's not the easiest binding, guys. I don't do that because of easy. Uh, more easier would be just uh, to sew in. But I love it. I love the uh, uh, look of that. That's probably why I are uh, uh, keeping uh, to make uh, journals with that uh, binding. So, a uh, journal, as you can see, is, is a lot of different pages, a uh, little bit of lace, um, different paper, wrapping paper, and, and paper from a food shop, and a lot, a lot of, I collected a lot of different papers, and I put in this uh, uh, journal, little fabric tabs here. Uh, yes, so we can go through the book quickly. I will just list it through because there's nothing really to talk. It's just different paper. Um, here under, uh, I embellished with old book pages and uh, here I have um, decoupage. So I get here I strengthened the, that uh, fold with a book page. This is just piece of... Um, Whatever I think it was um, tsunami rose is um, daisies, but I'm not sure. So I'm just going through. So book page with napkin decoupage, the tissue paper. I think that Fiona sent me, if I can remember right, because my mer memory is not the best. <laughs> but I think that so I put that into. I love it. It's um, just simple coffee stained paper, check paper, they all coffee stained, stamped somewhere, a little bit of script stamp, somewhere with like postal stamp, so it's a lot of different things, there is no, there is no one theme really apart from junk journal and vintage. <laughs> Here is a, I think it's like time card or 
some kind of of hours it's like work card is over time something i have this card i think irene crafty irene sent it to me so a coffee stained and i've used here this is nice coffee stained uh, lace this is white paper it's a bit crunchy crunchy ice from food shop and i just put a um, fabric a strip on embossed pink embossed a uh, paper cardstock and I coffee stained and on the side I just sewed on cotton fabric pocket so it's just pages here I just put in die cut negative I thought maybe you guys can use this is just again this paper um, I had um, a paper from whatever paper collection I can't remember but this paper is shiny and I don't like shiny paper so what I tried to do, I um, coffee stain them and I wanted to bake them. So I put three papers over each other. What happened, they stuck together. But at the end, that was actually quite good. Because look what I got, what I, can, what I got out when I teared it off. It made me really nice vintage paper. So I love that. So I think I will be doing that again. Here is just a lace on the side, tab here, again another part of that um, pink paper, some stamping, that is the same lace, that card, I just made quick belly bangs, very long tag, some stamping, uh, here a book page and I um, stapled a little bit of um, wrapping paper uh, on, this is from a, a bag stamping and lace take it negative and here this is our place that joins together two signatures embellished and stamping book page and here I just found a lovely picture with a vintage lady so I sold that on and again I strengthened here with a fabric large tag is from crafty Irina so Irina I'm starting to use your stuff and just a page from a bag. Here I put tea bag over an uh, old dictionary kind of book page. Stamping and tab. Some um, lace, uh, not lace, uh, cheesecloth. This pa paper is from um, wallpaper. This is just half printed something. Um, here is a decoupage. Um, fabric strip, um, design paper with um, paper uh, strip sewed on. Here I've sewed on um, pink mulberry paper. Decoupage, stamping, decoupage, little bit of um, different paper. Again, I just uh, sewed on piece of hessen, a rose a trim. Here I just sewed around a uh, vintage uh, uh, picture from whatever collection again, I can't remember. And some stamping. This is another hard part of uh, that um, wallpaper. Cheesecloth here and some stamping. Die cut negative. Stamping and the edge die. And then after what I just noticed, what I did, I just teared off all heads of these ladies. Uh, I didn't mean that really, <laughs> sorry guys, but uh, I don't know what else I can do, so I just left them like that. If you don't like it, you can cover it. <laughs> uh, another part of uh, that large tag, uh, die cut negative and tea bag. Again, I strengthened that part with um, fabric strip, and this is place I joined together two signatures. Uh, design paper and here again because I don't know why I uh, felt to me like these parts are uh, need to be strengthened more I don't know maybe I'm wrong but that was my feeling so I, I did that cheesecloth under and then I put a strip of paper this is embossed page I uh, just glued die cut negative on um, some kind of whatever design paper and I stapled on some fabric and here I glued on these lines decoupage um, embossed paper little tab here is uh, envelope 
so you can put in whatever you like. It's half of the envelope. Design paper, mulberry paper. Is the center of the second signature. And again, another half of a uh, envelope. Coffee stain too. This one is my, I just quickly made an envelope to put in. Here again, I just uh, decorated. This is just... Um, I think I cut out something, some a punch, and uh, I sold online paper, and uh, this is um, embossed, that embossed pink um, cardboard. Uh, here, mulberry paper, I sold on this design paper, coffee stain paper, and here again I, I joined together with a paper strip. This I think is last, yeah, fourth signature here. Just design paper, and I, I randomly is sold on book page. Strengthen here with different layers of paper and line stamping. A little bit of embellishing here. Book page with decoupage and some stamping. So actually, I decorated quite a bit. This one is in um, how do you call it? Not seam binding. Oh my God! Why I have seam binding in my head? Uh, bag i forgot <laughs> oh my god anyway guys you know what i'm talking about and then uh, design paper and again shop paper coffee stain paper little strip of paper um some cotton fabric on a paper stamping here I just sewed some a pink lovely strip of fabric on a page a lot here again is stamped a little bit with script stamp butterfly just sold it on on a on 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 a design paper and here I sold around this is fabric this is from old uh, cross stitched fabric and another part of that bag coffee stain as well book page and some decoupage and this is a last page is inside I was a cover and I put again a book page strip here and my shop uh, stamp and some old lace and butterfly stamp so that's how actually I quickly run through this is how that book is so a lot of different pages you can write you can you can uh, tuck things in or you can write little notes whatever you wish that is all for you. Uh, did I say that I called that book uh, Never Stop Dreaming? I called it that... Uh, I didn't put any name on a book. Uh, that will be just my Etsy. For Etsy, for listening. I put down uh, Never Stop Dreaming because... Just because that book is meant for little short notes. Whatever you dream about, whatever you wish about, or whatever you uh, wanted is... Uh, yeah, it's about dreaming, it's about dream book, it's about what, everything you want, you just write it down. And that probably gonna happen. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, um, so this is book for you. You will be able to buy. I will list on a Etsy. It's straight away. And have a lovely week week weekend. I'm still in the weekend. Now we still have to wait for a weekend a little bit. Ah, uh, have a lovely week. It's Monday. I think I have to remember it's Monday today. Okay. Ah, uh, have a lovely have a lovely week and see you very soon. Uh, I have a custom order to start and I have another very similar um, book to this one. But I think I will be making bigger one and on rings. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks guys for watching. Thanks a lot for your comments. If you uh, have any questions, of course, feel uh, free to ask. Okay, my dears, have a lovely day.